course, it's still unclear when Copper or any of our Colorado resorts will open for the season. But one thing is clear, they are all getting some snow today. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson has all the details. Mike? Hey, you guys. It's going to be a uh, snowy night in the mountains tonight and another one coming up on Thursday. And that's good news for the high country. We'll take all of that moisture. Winter storm warnings continue for a little while longer down in the San Juans and winter weather advisories until midnight tonight. Fire weather warning southeast Colorado. The tornado watch remains in effect on the far eastern plains. Some of these are getting to be pretty good out in Yuma County. We'll keep a close watch on some of those cells as they approach Ray and up toward Holyoke. No warnings yet, but folks on the eastern plains, keep an eye on those skies and keep it right here. We'll watch it carefully. Scattered showers closer to Denver. Some snow continues in the mountains to the west of us and down to the southwest. So for this evening, while there's a lot of weather out there in the Denver area, it's going to be just windy with a few showers. Temperatures are cooled to about 40 by 11 p.m. As far as today, it was a cooler day. 55 was the high temperature, 39 the low, 87 is the record, 67 is the average, and 0.02 in the gauge today from some of those scattered showers. Right now it's 48 degrees at the airport, 47 degrees at our studios. The barometer is falling. Winds are out of the east northeast at six miles per hour. There is the storm system, and as that low continues to push toward the north, it's going to dump a lot of snow in eastern Wyoming, western sections of North and South Dakota, southeastern Montana, warm and humid out ahead of it. The strong thunderstorms expected to rumble out across the central plains tonight. Around here by morning, some lingering snow showers in the mountains, just kind of a windy and cold morning elsewhere as low temperatures drop down to about 32 for Denver, Greeley, Fort Collins. So we'll be right at the freezing mark. If you have any outdoor plants, you still want to keep going a little bit longer. Try and cover them up tonight. 19 at Leadville and 17 at Alamosa, 20 at Walden, Winter Park at 23 by morning and generally low to mid 30s over the metro area. Windy and cold early with scattered mountain snow showers. By midday tomorrow, it's just a sunny, cool day on the plains. Scattered snow showers linger in the mountains. They'll be diminishing some, but there's a new storm system in Utah late tomorrow that's going to start to spread an increase in clouds across the rest of Colorado. Tomorrow's high 62, Denver, Greeley, Fort Collins, low 70s, southeast Colorado, 38 at Leadville and at Steamboat and 53 degrees expected out at Grand Junction. Here's the map late tomorrow. Now that next storm system moves in. So on Thursday, mountains get some more snow, probably about four or five inches of snow. Rain showers develop by mid to late afternoon Thursday along the I-25 quarter, and it looks like Thursday evening into early Friday, we'll probably get a little bit of snow, maybe between about 10 p.m. and about 2 a.m. Thursday night into early Friday morning. It'll just be enough to be measurable, and then that gets out of here Friday clear and cool, and then warm, dry weather coming up for quite a while. Here's the forecast for you. For tonight and tomorrow, we'll have some scattered showers early. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, 62. Thursday, rain develops, may turn to snow Thursday night for a little bit, and then by Friday morning down to 30. Clearing on Friday and 52. Saturday, beautiful, sunny and 67. Sunday, sunny, 73, Monday, 72, and 68 coming up Tuesday. This is the 10-day average, warmer than normal conditions across much of the central United States, including Colorado, and drier as well. So after these storms move through, some quiet mid-October weather coming.